All right, you ready? Yeah. Got the dart. We're gonna throw it at the map. See what we land on. Whatever we land on, we gotta buy. Three, two, one. Darts, and we're good to go. What is going on, Carols? Welcome back to another video here. Today, we have a map on the wall, and I made it small on purpose so that it's harder for us to land on certain things. We have a bunch of different fish, for instance, the Bala Shark, just a community fish would go perfect in that tank right there. Red tail catfish, I meant to try to find a platinum red tail. An albino arowana. The albino arowanas are also at predatory fins, and we can go buy one if we land on that. A lionfish, I committed to this, Nick and I, Nick's sleeping on the couch right now, we're gonna get him up to do this. If I land on that lionfish, I have to get a mini saltwater tank and buy a baby lionfish from Mark's Ark. The Romeo's Tetra, one of the coolest little schooling Tetras, and that'll go in the 160 if we end up landing on that. Black Diamond Stingray, if I land on that, it won't happen today, but I'll have to get my license for a Stingray, an exotic Stingray, and eventually get one later on. Red Crayfish, that's right in the middle, and I put it right in the middle because I really want to land on it. As you know, I got a blue crayfish and a white crayfish. Fish, both in the 160 right now. If I get a red one, then it's like red, white, and blue. So we're gonna see if we can try to land on that one. I completely missed it. This is gonna be difficult. I saw other YouTubers doing this in different ways, like buying like Rolexes and vehicles, expensive vehicles that they were to land on. So I decided to do my twist on it. If you guys wanna see this with even more expensive things maybe and different things, hit the like button. If we get like 20,000 likes, I'll do the same video again. So that's our map right there. And uh, let me go wake Nick up so we can get this thing started. <laughs> are you ready bro we got the dart I set it up the maps ready and we are going to throw this and see what fish we can buy make it happen here we go take the dart half asleep dart throw see what you land on okay <laughs> you ready this is actually really cool check this out oh, man. <laughs> all right Nick first throw three two one throw oh <laughs> oh my Gosh, all right, we gotta film that video. Not, It's not today, so we can't get those today, like okay. I said. The red tail, we couldn't pick up today because predatory is not in on Sundays, most Sundays at least, not this Sunday. And we also need to set up a whole pool pond. So this video is going to happen this week. Platinum red tail catfish are coming home. Make sure you're subscribed to the Wait, channel. that's a regular red tail. No, I, I couldn't find platinum. Nick's been throwing this things like 20 times. I haven't even got the camera ready. What I'm trying to say is the platinum red tail catfish we cannot do today. You know what, we're gonna just go with that one. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna go with that. The rummy nose. All right, so we got uh, we landed on the Tetra. Nick, you landed on the Tetra. Hey, can you give it five seconds before you throw I'm just gonna put my face here, so if you throw it again, you hit me. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Got the dart, we're gonna throw it at the map. See what we land on. Whatever we land on, we gotta buy. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Ooh, redo. That? It landed literally on the line from the Tetra and the crayfish, so. We got. How about you get both? So far, we have the Tetra. We have to buy a Tetra, and we also landed on a red tail. So we have to get that red tail video done this week as well. But <laughs> which fish are you gonna choose? Try to try to get. Try to get. I'm gonna just build a dart. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, okay. right here. That guy. All right. He's gonna try to land on the Bala Shark. Here we go. Ready? Bala Shark. Here we go. Go. Oh my gosh. What was that? Oh, the crayfish! The crayfish! <laughs> I thought you hit this thing right. Wait, I is that a lobster? <laughs> Nick, you done landed on the crayfish. So so far we got to get the tetra, which is right here, and now the crayfish. So now we gotta get these two. We got one more thing to land on. We're keep, we're buying three things in total today. So one more thing. So boy, we land on the tetra thing. And yeah, the yeah, we land on the tetra and the crawfish, and uh, we got one more thing to land on. I'm kidding. No, we uh, we uh, we. I knew you knew I was. So Holy moly! I am good. Stance. <laughs> All right, dude, you completely whiffed that one. Uh, let's one let's try again. Once again, he's aiming for the the shark. Top left. 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 Okay. Yeah! Yes! 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 <laughs> dude, I actually, you are killing it. Like whatever you aim for, you've been hitting. So so far, what we have hit: the Bala shark, the school of tetra, and the crayfish. Those are three things that we need to buy so far. We also hit the platinum red tail. We can't do that today, so we're gonna do that this week. I'm doing this one from right here. Here we go. <sighs> Aiming straight for the albino arowana. Oh my oh, goodness. Wow, you are oh my goodness. Last one for real though. Last one. 
We got a three fish we already need to buy. One's a crayfish, actually. Nope. Missed it. Missed. No more. You missed it. You missed it. No, you missed. Oh, oh! It fell. No, it fell. It fell. No, it fell. The dart fell. Dude, that's dumb. You saved me 700 bucks by that dart not sticking in the wall. If I miss this, it's over. If I make it, you're buying it. You're buying it. Nope, nope, nope. Mean? Look, it's not on the map. Look how close it is, dude. It's not on the map. It didn't hit <laughs> it. It literally missed the map. I have been getting so lucky lately with these uh, arowana throws. Nick's actually very good at darts. I personally cannot throw a dart for my life. As you can see, I, I hit the wall like 20 times. <laughs> that is that though. We threw the dart at the map and saw whatever we land on we had to buy. We landed on a platinum red tail catfish first, I believe. We're gonna do that video this week. We're gonna go pick them up. I already paid for them. And then we're gonna get the pool pond all set up for them and then get those guys in there. We also landed on a tetra. So we're gonna go to Mark's Ark right now, get a tetra. I believe he's got crayfish, all sorts of crayfish too. And also the Bala Shark, which Nick wanted and he landed on. If you did enjoy this, throwing a dart at the map and buying whatever it lands on, hit the like button. If this hits like 20,000 likes, I'm gonna build an even bigger map and maybe put like crazy stuff on it. So hit the like button for me. Also comment what you think we should have on the next map. <laughs> Let's go to the pet store. Okay, this is probably the biggest That is the horn. biggest flower horn I've You're ever seen in my life. Holy yeah, moly. This is three dude. times Georgia size. Literally. I didn't even know they get that big. We're here at Mark's Ark. We're gonna get the three things we landed on the crayfish. Oh, they, they got it already. They already got it. All right, so now I'm gonna show you the second thing we're getting. Nick, this was uh, your dart throw and your pick to put on the map. So you were aiming for that one, weren't you? Dude, this right here is what we would have had to get if we landed on it, a lionfish. And we would have had to buy a whole saltwater tank. Thank God. I purposely did not aim for that at all because I don't want to deal with saltwater. Oh, look at it. The panther grouper. That is, if I ever got saltwater, that's probably what I'd get. That's amazing. Look how sick that fish is. What? Lee moly. When I talk clown loaches Wait, get big. Wait, how much? Look, my look how big the clown loaches are, dude. How much for <laughs> Mine are the size of the thing's tail. Supposedly, they're like 20 years old. Mine are like almost a year old and they're like this big, so... I wouldn't doubt if they were actually 20 years old. Let's get like two more plans for the 160 because it's a little plain looking. Yo, these are dope, dude. These are realistic. Realistic. It's all about the realistic. It's not that. What about this one, Nick? No, it's not that, man. All right. Um, what about this one, Nick? No, it's not that. Nick, you're not Danny Duncan, no, dude. You like that one? Yeah. Right, for the, let's get that one. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. For the right side. Let's get this one, though, for real. This is dope. Yeah, that's dope. Look how realistic that is. All right, but I was thinking some of these rocks. It's shiny, bro. They put a clear coat on it. For some of these rocks would be cool. Are those rocks? Yeah, those are rocks with moss on them. Artificial? Yeah. That's dope. Buy those two. All right, so what do we get? We got this plant right here and rock moss rocks right here and also this giant plant right here for the right side of the tank. So let's let's, let's check out. We're good? Yeah. Remy knows crayfish, bala shark, and uh, three different plants. We're heading out. Look at them all. Oh, where's the crayfish? I haven't even seen it yet. This is a shark. Oh, dude. Yeah, it's cool. Dude, it is fully red. Quick update on our pond that we built last video. Looking good. There's our fish, and there's the tank. The 160 gallon from the back, which is now white uh, to match the walls. Looks really, really good. Bubble handles, which match the bubbles on each side. I'm absolutely in love with this crayfish for one reason. Not only that it's red, but we have a white one right there, and then a blue one that is inside that rock right there. So we got white, red, and blue now. So it's gonna be American flag in here. Let's uh, get these fish in though to acclimate. Look at this ball of shark right here. Beast of a fish. Really beautiful fish, good with community tanks. All fish are now in to acclimate. I'm just gonna call this a fish because it's too difficult to say crayfish and fish. But they're all in now and uh, I'm excited to get them in here. This is probably the last amount of fish I'll ever put in this 160 gallon tank until things start outgrowing the tank like the iridescent catfish and of course the clown loaches. You saw how big the clown loaches were at Mark's Ark. Until then, it's, this is probably it for the fish wise in 160. Let me go from the other side though. But that's how the tank looks and it looks much better at night because it's actually dark out and that room just looks like a black background. But I'm excited, there's the clown loaches to get these little guys in. All right, so we have all the plants here and Lulu. What's up, Lulu? We gotta get the plants into the tank. Oh, I just broke all three of them. Rinsing the plant off before we get it in the tank. And uh, Nick, you're gonna tell me where to put it? Mm-hmm. All right. Keep her going. Perfect. Hi, buddy. He likes a camera. I believe first things first, you agree, Nick, that we get a uh, this red crayfish? Yeah. We put her in, him in. It looks like eating crayfish, doesn't it? Just a little oh, more red. Oh, cooked one. Here you go, bud. 
So long feeling all the wood, like what the heck? We should have some babies, dude, with three crayfish in there. All right, ready? Look at all these little fishes. They're gonna go real quick, here we go. Wait, 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 wait. And then they'll find each other in school up. Ready, Nick? This is the one you wanted right here. This monster. Check out that right there. So long, buddy. <laughs> that is sick. Oh my goodness, dude. Talk about cool looking. Once that fish gets comfortable, and we're gonna show you at the end of this video, you're gonna see all those little fish schooled up in the corner. That fish comfortable, the crayfish, maybe with another crayfish, who knows? All these things are gonna be more comfortable in about like literally a couple hours. With that being said though, that was throwing a dart at a board and uh, buying whatever it lands on. It is indeed a few days later, actually two days later. I got today's positive comment shout out going out to Violet. I'll admit, this is a big task, but can I please get a shout out? I love your videos. So I liked it and of course I commented, next video. Shout out to Violet and if you want to win a positive comment shout out and have your comment in one of these upcoming videos, all you gotta do is drop a positive comment down in the comments below. And of course, be subscribed to the channel as well. Our red crayfish is inside the plant right there. Our ball of shark is swimming around right here. And all of our little tetras have yet to get used to the tank. They're just swimming in this corner right here and they keep going like this up around this area. So they're still a little bit nervous. I think the angelfish is really what's freaking them out. And actually when I bought them, I mentioned to the worker and I said, yo, the angelfish ain't gonna mess with these things because how small they are. And he said they'll eventually get used to them being around in the tank. So we'll see how that goes. This video is like one of my favorites to even create.